okay dear students let us see how are we going to do this question the graph shows the variation with time t of the velocity v of an object undergoing simple harmonic motion at which velocity does the displacement from the mean position take a maximum positive value so first of all we must understand the question properly what does it want uh, let us take uh, the case of spring mass system. I'm just uh, drawing the mean position here and let us say these are the two extreme positions. This is extreme right and this is extreme left and this is the mean position. So what is happening is they want you to find at which velocity does the displacement from the mean position take a maximum positive value. So positive means that we would be going towards this side because according to the sign convention, one side has to be taken positive. So we always choose this as positive. So this will be positive and it won't displacement to be maximum. So definitely they're talking about the amplitude here. So this uh, uh, is the amplitude on the right hand side. Okay, fine. Because it's positive value. Now we want to relate this thing with this graph that is given. Now the graph talks about the velocity with respect to time, not the displacement. Now, this becomes um, a little tedious here. So this is a topic 4.1, but if we refer to your data book, let's see, I tell you, there are two things. Uh, in SHM, there are two displacements possible, two equations for the displacement, okay? I would be showing you the same thing in the data booklet also. After some time, you see, x is equal to x naught sine omega t and x is equal to x naught cos omega t. Now, this equation is used if at time t is equal to zero the body is at the mean position like be careful this is velocity not displacement so if the body starts its position from the mean position we use sine omega t but if it starts from the extreme position it becomes cos and in ib majority of the books as well as well in the question paper i have seen it it's my experience out of it like they in ib they choose this as the displacement function but we are never sure about it because this is equally correct and this is equally correct. Both of these formulas have been given in the formula booklet for you. So that is why both are equally likely. So what is happening here is <clears throat> we can see here that the velocity is actually directly proportional to the negative of sine omega t. How is that possible and when is that possible? We have to differentiate it to find the expression for velocity. So in this case it will become cos omega t and here in this case it becomes velocity is equal to x naught omega negative sine omega t so there's a negative sign here there's a negative sign here so this velocity has the variation of negative sine omega t and from this graph it is evident that they must be the expression for the velocity must be this so if the expression for velocity is this we are not sure that they are using this as the displacement function so if this is the displacement function it means the body started at extreme position and it went all the way through the mean position towards the other extreme and then it came back so now we want the maximum displacement on that even positive side so we are referring to this right hand side extreme position so when is it possible obviously when the time started that is at t is equal to zero or when the oscillation ended that is at the point d now we do not have zero in the options we would be having a b c or d in the options so our answer will be d uh, let me see here yes the mark scheme says that the answer is d so this is how we do it my dear students i repeat here what we just did uh, this was the point which we, we were looking forward to and this point is actually the point D. Okay, when the body will again start moving backward and the displacement is maximum and positive. So this is how we do it. And let me show you the uh, uh, formula booklet also. Uh, okay, so there it is. You see, this is topic 9.1, not 4.1. And this is the displacement given here and this is the velocity given here. So directly you can relate it if you have the problem with the calculus or remembering the expression for the velocity or you cannot derive the expression for velocity with the help of calculus, you can do this. So this is how we do it. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best.